If you've logged into your Google My Business panel recently, you should have seen this message. As the crisis continues, Google has made the decision of limiting some of your listings functionality. Today, I'm going to cover what these are so you can cope with the latest changes. Hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips, and tricks to help your small business grow online step by step and click by click. If it is your first time here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Let's start with some good news. As you know, your business name should reflect your business in real life. However, due to the current situation, Google is apparently allowing businesses such as restaurants to modify their business name and add home delivery or takeout options as part of it. Here is an example of a restaurant in New York. Probably a bit of an overkill, but if your business offers these options, go ahead and add them. Okay, that was for the good news. Moving on to restricted functionality, starting with reviews. If you usually ask your customers to post a Google review on your listing, you may have noticed no new reviews have appeared on your panel over the past few days. This is because since the 20th of March, Google is no longer publishing any customer reviews on any listings. Looking at the Statue of Liberty listing, for example, which normally receives tons of reviews daily, it looks like all reviews have stopped coming through since then. And although it seems users can still post reviews, they simply don't get published. Trying to respond to reviews is also no longer possible. The reason behind this is to protect local businesses from anyone posting malicious reviews or mislead anybody with the wrong type of information given the situation we are currently in. My advice here is to stop asking your customers for reviews for the time being and keep track of their details so you can get in touch with them when everything is back to normal. FAQs. For those of you who were hoping to use the FAQ feature to help inform your customers, unfortunately, you will not be able to. FAQs have been entirely removed from listings. Once again, I believe this is to protect local businesses who may get swamped by questions which may be answered rightly or wrongly by random users. Business descriptions. Adding a description to your listing seems to be causing problems too as some of them get rejected. I am not sure this is true for every business, but it is likely to be caused by the current restrictions. If it has been your case, just be patient. Google posts. Some Google posts also seem to somehow be rejected. This is apparently a bug which Google is working on. It is uncertain when this will get fixed, but apparently Google is aware of it and working on it right now. Photos. Images posted to your listing by users do not seem to be published live either. Business listing marked as temporarily closed. If your business is no longer open, you can mark it as temporarily closed. To do this, just log into your Google My Business panel, click on Info, and in the main panel, select the Mark as temporarily closed option. Unfortunately, some business listings have been marked as temporarily closed without requesting it. I am not sure why, but this is a bit of a tricky situation to fix. If this is your case, you can submit a request for your listing to be reopened. Click on the Info tab and in the main panel, click on the Mark as Open option. Unfortunately, due to the lack of response from Google at the moment, this may take some time before it is activated and may stay in the under review status for some time. Google states they will prioritize reviews for edits critical to health-related businesses, so you are going to need to be patient. New Google listing creation. If you are trying to create, claim, or verify a listing right now, you may encounter some delays as Google states they will prioritize health-related businesses first. That's it for today. I hope most of you are still managing to keep your head above water during these difficult times and that the end of this situation is near, so we can resume our activities sooner rather than later. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below, as always, and I'll do my best to respond to them. I hope to speak to you soon.